a game, it's a practice, if it's a film session, um, if it's an off day, um, you know, you don't, I don't take my mind too much away from the game. You know, um, obviously, you know, even this morning, um, you know, Merry Christmas to all y'all families and things of that nature. And it was phenomenal to, you know, be with my kids and seeing them opening their gifts and having a great time. And at the same time, um, I, had to, I had the game on the TV. Um, so my mind is always in tune with what's going on. My mind was thinking about, you know, the Nets and, and, and prepping for the Nets. So, you know, I, I'm just a guy that just lives in the moment and, um, you know, don't care too much about the, you know, the past because that's history and just, um, you know, living today. Tomorrow's a mystery. So, you know, just got to live in, a, in, in the present. LeBron, um, obviously Russ is, is bringing energy and, and wants to win. But um, when he kind of has a shooting night like he has tonight, what do you kind of see – in that, um, what is sort of between him and, and the kind of performances that he wants to have for this team? What are you asking? I don't quite understand your question. I guess I mean, okay, Coach Fizz was just saying, you know, he, he, he's feeling a lot of pressure with guys out. Um, maybe my question is, do you see that as well? And do you see that affecting how he plays? Um, I think at all shoot night, I mean, um, he missed so many shots around the rim that he's been accustomed to making throughout his career and throughout the season. Um, so uh, not worried about too much of that. Um, you know, I think his decision-making was spectacular tonight. He had 11 assists. You know, he had 12 rebounds, five of them offensive. Uh, and we know we're not one of the better offensive team, offensive rebounding teams in this league. So um, he gave us extra possessions. He just missed a lot of um, looks around the basket which I know that he can't stand as well. But, you know, you know as far as the effort piece, um, if a guy plays hard and a guy leaves it on the floor, you got no problem with that. It's make or miss league. LeBron, in, in, similar to what Dan was asking you, but Fizz said, you know, he hates that these performances that you're, you're putting out on a daily basis are being wasted on losses. Malik just said, um, you know, that, that the rest of the team hates, hates it as much as, as, as anyone else. Is there any frustration on your part that you're doing – all this, right? Like you've been, you've been, been able to do so much on a nightly basis throughout this stretch and that it's not, it's not enough for the group. Uh, no, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, I just you know, go back and watch the film and see if there's ways and opportunities I could have been, you know, a step sooner or a step, you know, faster to a loose ball or to a, to a rebound or, you know, had a couple of turnovers tonight. If it was an opportunity, if I didn't have three turnovers or maybe one, because could we been a lot better offensively? Um, you know, so I mean, like I said, I try to do my part while I'm on the floor. Um, you know, carry the load. Um, you know, do a little bit of both sides, and uh, and just try to lead. You know, lead by example and also lead with my voice. And um, you know, and it's been obviously been difficult throughout the stretch, but you know that won't stop me. I'm gonna continue to do what I've been doing. LeBron, now that we're sort of a week into you playing center on a, a much more extended basis, um, I'm just curious physically how that's gone. Um, guys sometimes talk about the, the extra sort of like leaning and banging and stuff like that. Have you felt any of that? And, and I guess what have you liked about those lineups? Uh, no, I don't feel anything. Um, I've come out of over the last couple of weeks, uh, you know, feeling pretty good besides uh, stepping on Jay Crowder's foot the other day. But as far as me playing the five defensively or, or playing the one offensively, um, I feel great. I really do. David, Brian, Merry Christmas. Um, to go philosophical on you, the fact that you guys were down 23 and made a game of it in the fourth, is there any lesson there in terms of where you are at this stage of the season that you can still make a season uh, out of it? Well, I think um, I'm looking forward to watching the film tomorrow when we come in as a group, uh, see why it went to 23 and see why we were able to get into it and get back into the game and, and tie the game over like 40 some seconds to go. So, you know, if there's reasons or ways that we can not give our, uh, dig ourselves such a bad hole, then we don't have to come back from those moments. But it was good to just see the character. Melo brought us all together and said, listen, man, we need to go out and show some character. Um, in the fourth quarter, I think when they went up 23, um, and we all responded, and we responded uh, with a flurry. We just weren't able to get over the hump. 
Last question, Claudia on Zoom. LeBron, um, we obviously know that you love to win uh, and you hustle tonight. Uh, we saw a lot of the new guys actually trying to, you know, help out too. And with everything that, you, that is going on through with the short staff, and how important it is to have patience? What's, how do you describe that word, patience? Uh, well, I'm not a very patient person, obviously, uh, but You know, under the circumstances, obviously, without our head coach, <clears throat> excuse me, without our head coach. And, um, you know, tonight we finally got a couple of our key guys back, um, but we're still missing a few. Um, you just try to stay, you know, even kill. And um, obviously this, this uh, you know, losing streak is not something that none of us want. Um, but uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. No one's going to feel sorry for our record or nobody's going to feel sorry for guys. Because everybody, you know, besides, I think, like Golden State and Phoenix, Everybody has guys out, you know, so, um, you know, you just got to, you know, when you get your opportunity, you get your number called, just make the most of it um, and go out and play, play our system. And it's even challenging for some of the guy, new guys because, you know, they haven't been in the system long enough to know exactly what we want to execute. But, you know, tonight they just, you know, they just play hard. DC came in, played extremely hard. Obviously, um, you know, Stanley came in and then also Malik, even though he's been a part of our system, been out for, you know, two weeks. So it was just good to have that, that um, you know, that energy. Um, that we was able to, to, to give our fans and our fans to give it back to us. Appreciate Thank it. You, Thank you. Yep. Merry Christmas.